so you guys i want to bring y'all this video on sheree cooper just because we got some things that we have to talk about on what he currently got going on make sure y'all subscribe to my channel leave a like on this video as well and also press the notification bell for future updates now let's get to it so check this out if y'all didn't know just recently sharif decided to sign to a team in china that's called the leonin flying leopards so sharif will be heading to china soon due to the cba season still currently going on and also getting ready for the playoffs his team will be playing their last regular season game on saturday against the guangsha lions while sitting in the first seat of their conference so sharif will be suiting up with the team to basically be part of their playoff run and hopefully win a ring this year as well which would actually be very good for him because we all know he did finish off his 10-day contract with the cleveland cavaliers not too long ago and once his contract expired they decided to not resign him to a second one when you watch him play on the g league level you can tell that he is really comfortable with himself and also has the ability to lead his team it's just the problem is every time when he gets an opportunity with an actual nba team he don't perform that great on the court that's how he ended up getting weighed by the Atlanta Hawks and also the Cleveland Cavaliers as well. When you think about it, Sharif has already got a few opportunities by now because the Atlanta Hawks signed him twice to a two-way deal, including the Cleveland Cavaliers signing him twice with two 10-day contracts. So he has had many opportunities so far in his career. It's just he haven't shown NBA teams that he is ready for a certified contract yet. And don't forget, he is a smaller guard too. So for him, he has to put in a lot of more work and also has to show out all the time because other guys are competing for that roster spot as well and we all know cleveland already has a few guards that can actually play so sharif honestly just have to keep working once he become a restricted free agent this summer hopefully a different team can sign him and give him another opportunity or worst case scenario he will just have to go back to the g league which is nothing wrong with that or he could just stay overseas for next season but we don't know how Ash Cash will actually feel about that because they are still together, right? And now that Sharif has to go to China, I wonder if Ash is actually going to go with him. Because check this out. Not too long ago, she made an insane tweet by saying, I'm just sitting here thinking about all the S I let slide. I'm going to jail this summer. And you can see Taya comment on her post with laughing emojis because she know exactly on what Ash is talking about by making that tweet. So since Sharif is going to China for the summer, I don't see on why Ash wouldn't go with him because he's only going to be there for about one and a half months or maybe two months max. So it's not that long. It's just for the remainder of the season. But the real question is, what if Sharif receives another contract with a different team in China or somewhere else overseas for next season? Do y'all think Ash will actually move in with him or stay where she is at in the States with his sister Taya? Leave your comments and opinions below because I want to know how y'all feel about that unless they just decide to do long distance or whatever. So we're going to see on how this is going to play out. The people has always been on Sharif's side because everyone wants to see him win. Ever since that NCAA investigation happened when he was in college, his career has just been on a big roller coaster because he has been having a lot of highs and lows. Ever since that NCAA investigation happened when he was in college, his career has been on a big roller coaster because he has been having a lot of highs and lows. So sometimes Sharif will express on how he feel on social media and you can tell that he's been going through it a little bit, but bro is actually built for it because he will always get back up and continue to chase that dream every time they push him back down. Like they say, diamonds are made under pressure, right? So I really hope he is actually getting ready to learn Chinese, buddy. For real, for real. I thank you guys for watching. Please make sure you like, subscribe. Make sure you press the notification bell. T-Game, we out.